time for us to make a joyful noise. Oh, 
Hey everybody, guess what? Just witnessed an amazing show by Aaron Cole and someone that I just met today that started off the whole amazing event. Beside of me, I have Tyler Boy. Tyler, what an amazing voice, man. Oh, you, I mean, truly a blessing, truly a blessing. Thank you so very much. It was an honor to be here tonight. Um, just finished a CD seven track EP, six original songs, and tonight was the kickoff. This is the first place that anyone could get these, so it was an honor to be here, of course, with Aaron, who's amazing as well, so thank you. Well, I understand that uh, this is also an amazing day because it's your CD release party, but also, and I'm calling it a party because I'm sure it's, it's an exciting party for you, but also I understand this is your hometown that you perform in front of, right? Absolutely. I have lived in the Tri-Cities area my whole life. Um, Went to Daniel Boone High School, went to ETSU, so I'm a hometown girl, and I wouldn't want this to happen anywhere else but here. Well, let's let's just talk real quickly about the voice that you have. Like I said, I was just blown away when I heard you. I mean, you can chill it. You truly are coming from the spirit when you sing. Talk about the beginning of discovering that voice. Absolutely. So um, I grew up with singing parents. Um, we did church music my whole life. My dad's a drummer, so um, just opened up to a lot of different musical genres, but knew that church music was special um, when we sing about Jesus. And um, there's no denying that. There's no denying that the Holy Spirit moves through our, our worship and our, our voices when we give it over to Him. Um, so sang through church, sang through high school, uh, met my husband through music 15 years ago. That seems like a really long time ago, and it was. <laughs> um, but we've been singing and leading worship together ever since then. And um, five years ago, just said, hey, what, what's more? What's next? And here we are tonight. Great. Now, you also had, behind that amazing voice, you had an absolute great band that's backing you. You just mentioned that your husband's part of your band. Uh, some of the other band members, how did you get to know them? Did they grow up with you as well? Uh, Several of them we've known for many, many years. Um, Rob Price, who is acoustic and electric, he um, we've known him half of our lives as well. <laughs> so, been doing music with him, um, weddings, you name it. We have we've done it together. Um, Chad Shelton is a dear friend of ours from church. Met him through um, which we all go to Christ Fellowship Church in Kingsport here. Missy McCoy, dear friend, um, and Matt Hale on the drums. So obviously it could not happen without them, and this CD could not happen without them. So I am so grateful um, that they were all here and um, that we got to enjoy this time together. Well, one final thing I want to ask you now, people that may be watching the show right now, I know you probably want to know how can you get a hold of her music. She has that brand new CD out, so if you don't mind, how can they get a hold of your CD? Absolutely. So we are, um, we have a Facebook page, an Instagram account. We have a website that right now says coming soon. If you go to tylerboyd.com, um, there is the Facebook link there as well as an email um, for booking information or, or just for us to have for newsletters and things to come. Um, but right now, the, the main way is to visit that Facebook page, which there is a link to at tylerboyd.com. So. There you go, Facebook page, tylerboyd.com. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we had a great time here. You just heard this amazing voice. I'm sure you're going to hear more of it in the future. Hey, God bless, and we'll see you right back here on Joyful Noise. Ah, your wedding day, that one special day in your life you'll never forget. So let Venture Productions capture all those special moments at your wedding for you to treasure a lifetime. Our approach to videography is one of creativity and excellence. Call Venture Productions for your video services. It's the moment you've been waiting on your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, this is Roddy along with Victoria, and we're on the streets right here in Gatlinburg in front of the aquarium, but we're here to tell you about our great deals coming up in May on MySmokeyTV.com. You know, people love to shop, don't they, Victoria? Sure do. You know, they like to save money, don't they? Sure do. So make sure you go to MySmokeyTV.com, pull the tab down, and find your favorite coupon starting in May. So right here in the Smoky Mountains, people love to be entertained, lots of information, and have fun. Right, Victoria? Sure do. All right, you heard it right there. Welcome back to Joyful Noise. We are here at Simple Blessings here in historical downtown Elizabethan. We have Miss Rachel Jazzy Jade Green. We're going to call this segment a look at the life of Jazzy Jade. And the reason why we're going to look at the life of Jazzy Jade because she is a singer, but she's also a Christian and she sings secular music. So we want to get to know a little bit about Jazzy Jade with being a Christian but still singing secular music. So let's let's kind of move into the music side. Okay. okay. Now I understand because I've seen the numbers on I believe it was on Facebook where I saw there's a picture out of you and mm -hmm. it just within the last few days <laughs> it's beginning to go viral and Jazzy Jade is now not just locally or regional or even in the United States your name and your music now going global talk about that experience um I'm still like it's only been like a couple of weeks mm -hmm. so I'm just kind of I don't know it I've never had that kind of response I mean I've had you know people here in kind of surrounding following areas yeah, yeah. yeah you know and it's just like hey what's up you know you know people you get to know them like yeah. they're your next door neighbor um so alex pollard he runs 315 radio in new york okay and he said i'm just going to post your picture i'm going to post it. he actually posted my ep cover first cool and then he posted the picture and they did a boost on facebook and the next thing i know i wake up like three days later and i had like 500 friend requests and then it was like I maxed out I only had 1700 at the time yeah yeah <laughs> so I got like 3,000 friend requests and there are um, people from all over on overseas India oh my god um, France Mexico Brazil yeah. Albania Algeria wow um, Iraq Pakistan I mean <laughs> it's crazy like they're all over and so they've been messaging me and um, I have this something set up on my phone yeah and I don't know. I can't get it turned off because they've been calling me. So this is kind of just constantly hitting you, constantly hitting. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's it, it's. I don't. I'm still trying to get used to it. I, I don't know if I will get used to that or not. It's just kind of. It's it's very. I'm excited though because I'm hoping you know that that means that they're buying the record. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So with them buying the record and. Uh, like I said, putting pictures and images and photos and things going viral, and you're now getting a taste of that, and this is something you, you've always wanted. Like I said, uh, still trying to keep your Christian roots. Mm -hmm. How are you able to handle that now on what you see could potentially happen to you? Well, I mean, it's a for me now, mm -hmm. because the old me didn't really let God have it all. Yeah. I basically was taking the reins myself and I said, you know, I'm just going to do, this is what I have to do to make it. Okay. And now I pray before something happens and I'm letting God give the, you know, letting him take direction and take the reins because it wasn't working Yeah. when I didn't do that. And just a few, well, it's been almost a year and I was in church. I was at Manly Baptist in Morristown, and uh, they were talking about your talents mm -hmm. and using those for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so I just prayed, and I was like, look, you know, God, you can just have it all. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to do this myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you have it. And then I saw um, an interview with Charlie Wilson, you know, and he used to be with the Gap Band. Yes, <laughs> and I love him. And uh, he got, turned his life over to the Lord. I think he always grew up as a Christian, but he – May have had some struggles yeah. with it down the road. I think yeah. he was, you know, he struggled with drug addiction mm -hmm. and um, it was a really cool story. And now he does secular music, but at the end of his show, mm -hmm. that was the struggle that I had. I was like, do I need to go Christian? And then when I saw that, I felt like God was like, this is what I want you to do, mm -hmm. you know, because he does Christian music at the end of his show and he tells people okay. about, you know, God and everything. And so I felt like that was um, confirmation of what he wanted me to do with this and then everything is just kind of you know i'm just kind of letting him 
kind of Jeff you're letting Bush. him take the wheel now to where oh, you yeah. said before it was all about Jazzy Jade mm-hmm. wanting to do what Jazzy Jade wanted to do, but mm-hmm. now you're starting to see things different. Exactly. So, and that was kind of, I guess you said, the eye opening experience you had when you saw another oh, yeah. artist mm-hmm. and, and, and knowing his background and the things he had to deal with to where now he still does the music that the gifts that he's had that God's given him, but now he's also using it for him at the end exactly. of the shows to where he's opening the door for other people to may hear mm-hmm. the message of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Exactly. So that's with the crowd, with a, you know, obviously with the name he has, he's got the crowd there where he's able to do that. And so, the good yeah. thing, the great thing about him is his music is clean and my music, you know, is clean. Um, I don't want to put out anything that's not, going to be a good influence yeah. on someone else um so and that's what that's what i like about him and i feel like that god you know uses different people in different ways and mm-hmm. i feel like that's when i prayed that prayer mm-hmm. specifically i said what do you want you know whatever you want it, it, it's yours yes and then that's when you know so you know just when i was in church and um i feel like god has taken the direction now because i let him have it instead of hanging on to it too tight you know it was like that was my idol so um basically like he says in psalms um, 37 4 you know delight yourself in the lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart and i don't think it's wrong to have the desire to want to do music i think it's why you're doing the music i've just always loved music it wasn't really about being quote a star Mm -hmm. you know um or anything like that it was just i just wanted to make money doing what i love yeah you know and maybe pitch a record to someone and let them sing it or just be in the studio all day i love to record yeah love it and And you want to give i guess opportunity for people to enjoy your music and enjoy your gift yeah and you know because i feel like it can be very inspirational Mm -hmm. you know music can be it's very powerful oh it is it is and i feel like um it's very powerful and it can you know my lyrics i want them to be where people feel uplifted or they can have fun you know i still think as a christian that you can still have fun. oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. and so th- I, I think that might be a deterrent sometimes for some people that they feel like oh i don't want to be a christian because then that takes all the fun out of it it really doesn't no 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 it actually enhances once you like i said once you know your purpose in in God and in Christ it actually enhances it because now like you just said you're letting him take the will mm-hmm. and you're able to do some incredible things and reach people doing it by using that gift absolutely you let go and let God so, yeah because yeah. it's fu- I mean it's fun and it's more fun to me I mean I've done both sides as far as like going out and partying and all that and that's it might be fun for five minutes yeah. or an hour. It's, it gives you that temporary fulfillment. And like the we've next, all been there, done that. And and, and like you said, the, the next day, yeah, or especially just, if it comes to drinking, you know, next day, well, <laughs> consequences. We have to deal with the consequences. Oh, and yeah. I don't like the consequences. Yeah, so it's almost like, it's like I just don't, you know, not to say that I'm not tempted by certain things because I'm still, I mean, just because you're Christian doesn't mean you're not going to be tempted. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so. always, there's always, the devil always has a way to try oh, yeah. to work you and the way he does it is to work your weaknesses. Definitely. And he knows how to find them and that's why we got to stay prayed up and, mm-hmm. and keep, you know, grounded in God. Absolutely. And that's the difference between me now and back then is i let god have everything every day Mm -hmm. and is this the direction that you really want me to go like what do you want me to do because at the end of the day he's in control of it anyway so that's right might as well just let him have it that's right and uh you know i i could i did i got kind of in the beginning Mm -hmm. because i had met some people in the business oh you probably got starstruck too to where oh yeah (laughs) well and you start thinking about the deal and you think about the money that you're gonna make you know everybody's like oh you're gonna be getting that money i bet you like shopping and yes i do (laughs) that would be where the issue would be for me is spending the money i have to really like i'm like don't even look at the shoes don't go by the shoe department (laughs) don't go look don't go because you know you're gonna buy something so yeah that's definitely that that would be my issue if they signed that big check home yeah. <laughs> it's like they say you know oh, i got some louboutins and i bought a me i bought a half a million dollar or a million dollar home i mean yeah i mean that's you know you start thinking but that's not really the purpose yeah of you know yeah. the journey it's it's about 
doing the right thing and what are we really here for because at the end of the day you can't take that home that's right that's right you know exactly right you, I, I mean you can't take it take that home you know what i mean yeah. you can't take it to heaven you cannot you which is going to be our home yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean at, that's that's not the important part i mean it, it can be tempting yeah everybody's oh, yeah. tempted oh, yeah. we're all tempted yes <laughs> yes you know and and if right I, now my son's over there tempted for that root beer float here exactly <laughs> <laughs> ain't no skinny chicken yeah. i like my ice cream and potato chip <laughs> ain't no skinny chicken ain't no skinny chicken <laughs> now she just threw that little line and that's actually from one of her songs let's let's have a little fun here let's let's sit back and have a little fun since you brought up the chips here Potato I ain't chip, no skinny just chick. For you. Talk about that song. I ain't no skinny chick. What came about? So no that chick. came about. Pretty much everything on my EP came about as like a joke. It was kind of a joke, you yeah. know, in the studio. I was okay. in the studio with a friend, and um, well, I'm going to talk about Cougar really quick. Okay. I know we're I'm veering off the subject, but okay. Cougar came about as a joke because okay. a friend of mine was trying to say Cougar, and he said Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you trying to say cougar? And I thought, you know what? That'll be a good, that'll be my next single. Yeah, yeah. So, but then Skinny Chick came about because I was watching TV and they were, the uh, TMZ or one of the channels, they were picking on Jessica Simpson. Okay. About her being heavy. And I'm like, this well, girl is a like weight, yeah. a good size six at the time. This is before she was pregnant. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you picking on Jessica Simpson? Yeah. She's not heavy. Yeah. And I'm sitting here thinking, if she's heavy, then I like at the time, like I was like two of her. So yeah. I'm like, this <laughs> yeah. is ridiculous. <laughs> like, stop picking on these yeah. people. So that's where I came up so with. So you had a, a, a tag song. Because I was yeah. like, I ain't no skinny chick. <laughs> and I was like, hey. So you kind of flipped it and made it a fun song to yeah. where pe everyone can embrace it no matter size, exactly. shape. Exactly. You know, have fun with it. So Because in the beginning, I'm like, look at the models in magazines. Too yeah. bad they don't look like me. <laughs> you know, but I'm not knocking girls in the magazines. Uh, yeah, I don't mean so. that. I'm just saying that embrace yeah. it and be proud of and what you've been blessed with. Proud of who you with. are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Exactly. Well, from Skinny <laughs> Chick to Cougar, uh, with that Cougar song, mm -hmm. um, talk about some of the fun you're having with that song because I, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, with the images uh -huh. you're putting out, you're kind of playing off of the Cougar. I guess that's the hit single that you're you're That's the first. lead single yeah. Yeah. Um, that came out. And like I said, it just came from a funny conversation that I was having with a friend. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just about older women um, that are single yeah. and they're dating younger guys. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. You know, just just Which that, that happens. Oh, yeah. It's, that's a, it's real. Yeah. It happens every day. Yeah. But I just kind of did my twist on it, yeah. you know, and just made it kind of fun. For, I guess more of a dance track, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's very... <laughs> All my music is very party, like up tempo, fun, but it's clean. Yeah, so you you can play it just about anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like if I had, I mean, it, it doesn't sound like Bruno Mars, but Bruno Mars is kind of universally. It's got that 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 would be the category. It's I kind of got it the in. vibe where you can kind of play yeah. it at a junior high school, elementary exactly. school, high school, or in the clubs. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, Jazzy Jade. Like I said, joy to have you on the show. Thank this you. series has been a great series with Rachel Jazzy Jade Green and kind of sharing some Thanks of her adventures. But before I'm we excited. go, I want you to kind of just wrap this up to kind of put things in perspective of people just now jumped into this conversation we have. And what we're doing, we're taking a look at life of Jazzy Jade and kind of her <laughs> adventures and sharing. So she's been sharing some of her stories and things she's been dealing with, you know, as a Christian who sings secular music. So if you had, you know, just some words of wisdom for those singers out there who, you know, because a lot of them, a lot of the pop singers, they, they like you just said, they've started out in church and they've wanted Definitely. to kind of branch out. Not that they're leaving the church or leaving singing for the Lord, but they want to, you know, expand their gift that they have to it mm -hmm. for others to enjoy. So if you've got any message for some of those young stars who are budding mm -hmm. and wanting to get in the business, uh, what would you tell them? Um, I would say that just pray about it and really give it to the lord um especially you know if you are really a, a believer as mm -hmm. a christian you know i would definitely definitely do that and just let god give you the direction and do your due diligence you know write produce 
stay on top of your craft practice you know you reap what you sow so i mean that's that's in proverbs you know you just need to do what you got to do every day to be and get to where you are and just perfection you know perfect your craft and don't try to wear all the hats if you're good at one thing if you're really good at singing if you're really good at playing the piano focus on what you're really good at yeah and try not to just do the jack of all trades that's what another thing i would say because i think i tried to take on too much at one point Uh, and i think sometimes if you can really just get your craft and perfect it and mm -hmm. be really good at that and then add the other you know pieces that go along with it well jazzy like i said we've enjoyed having you and for those who want to maybe follow Jazzy Jade or listen to Summer of Music and uh, get in touch with her, what do they need to do to get a hold of you? I know you said everything's starting to blow up now to where it's hard to kind of friend you, but I'm sure that there's places you can leave. Oh, yeah, YouTube. definitely. Yeah. If you just, um, well, if you Google Jazzy Jade, J A Z Z I E. J-A-D-E, everything will pretty much pop up. My EP, um, but my public site um, on Facebook is J-A-Z-Z-I-E, J-A-D-E. And then my Facebook with Rachel Green, you know, you had to, a few years ago, they made us change our name. It was just Jazzy J, but now it's Rachel Green and gotcha. then Jazzy Jade in parentheses. Okay. You can find me there. Twitter, just look up Jazzy Jade. Um, Instagram, Jazzy Jade, it's it's all there. So, but okay. I, I would just Google it, and everything will pop up. Google like Twitter, Jazzy Jade, and it'll pop up. And they'll so. find you. Huh? Yeah, they'll pretty find much. You. And I'm sure there's going to be some green around there somewhere. Your name's green. You wear green. It's, Jade, a greenish I think color. So sure. I think my EP cover is on every. Yeah, they'll my see EP that cover. green, huh? Yeah. So if you see green, <laughs> I don't have on green today, but <laughs> I have on gold today. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> I should got to be versatile. <laughs> Yeah, switch it up a little. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I want to thank you for tuning in to Joyful Noise and tuning in to this exciting interview we've had with Miss Rachel Jazzy Jade Green. And as she's been sharing her stories, we've been taking a look at her life and her journey on this road that we're still on. So we're going to keep praying for you. You keep praying for us. And once again, Keep making a joyful noise until the Lord. God bless. We'll see you again. Thanks for having me.